Away from politics now to scales of justice, where a petitioner has moved to court seeking to bar Treasury from directly allocating funds to the Office of Public Prosecution. The petitioner, rather, argues that the ODPP is not a constitutional office and falls under the purview of Public Service Commission, which should oversee its operations. Through his lawyers, Frederick Bikeri has filed the petition, saying the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions has already received an award of excellence from Financial Management Institute of Certified Public Accounts and Capital Market Authority, contrary to the provisions of the law. He claims the office is not independent and wants it restrained from advertising recruitment of staff who include state councils, as the same is a preserve for Public Service Commission. We want the office of the ODPP to be compelled by an order of mandamus to return forthwith the awards or the illegal awards that they have since received in the pretense that they are an independent office or a constitutional commission. Justice Anthony Murima certified the matter as urgent and directed the matter to be heard on 10th May 2022. <laughs> Meanwhile, Three people linked to the murder of Jomo Kenyatta University of Science and Technology student on Tuesday morning have been detained for 14 more days to allow the police complete investigations. This is after the investigating officer Peter Kaibiru sought the court to have the three detained as investigations continue. Joseph Mushiri, 22, Kefa Moniki and Paul Mbatha, aged 20, are alleged to have stabbed to death Joel Juma, a fourth-year industrial chemistry student. Tika Senior Resident Magistrate Oscar Wanyaga granted the request and ordered that the suspect be held until May the 5th, when they will be produced in court. And finally, the head of technology at Betika, Fred Gitonga, has been released on a 5 million shillings bond or a cash bill of 2 million shillings. On 9th of May, the trial conference of May of May. This is after he pleaded not guilty to charges of theft amounting to 11 million shillings. Lynn Chalo for Prime Edition.